to address the general situation here, as um, Senator Locke did earlier, I think what we all want is to do this well. We have a disparity study done on this executive order, which shows it didn't work, and now we're looking to codify it. I know from my short time in the Senate that this entire time I have had small women-owned businesses coming to me talking about the hardship and frustration with this executive order. We want to get this right, leaping to codification before we have this, achieving the goals we want, even when our own disparity studies show that it's not working, is passion without good outcome. We have to be very careful in legislating passion without good outcome. I think we're going to hear a lot of testimony today, but the idea is not to do another study on the same thing. The idea is to maybe have a real conversation with stakeholders, that some of whom we're going to hear from today, and accomplish the goal effectively. But we're not doing that, and apparently there hasn't been incredibly robust conversation about these concerns. And here we are now, not having had a conversation, moving to codify something that's not working. That is my assessment as I'm hearing, and I'm talking about women-owned businesses. I am the owner of a, of a business. And so I'm, I'm, we need to think carefully about this. 